Welcome to Projects for All. My name is Mike and today, today we got brand new stuff. Flex. Flex's hammer drill, impact driver combo, and we got this six and a half inch inline circular saw. This stuff was sent down here for free for me to review for you guys. And I am freaking excited because not only have we never had this brand on the channel before, I have never used Flex tools. And we're going to get the stuff out. We'll have a close look at it. We'll get some material and we're going to see if this is any good. So today we're doing this guy. Stay tuned. In a week or two, there'll be a video just for this one. Oh man. Turbo mode. Unrivaled torque. I like the sound of that. Impact driver. Three modes. Three speed modes. Quick eject collet. Self-tapping screw mode. I'm telling you right now, this stuff looks nice. Metal. Don't know if you can read that. Jacob's Chuck. Half inch. Turbo mode. I like what I see. I'm not going to lie to you. Brushless. I like this overmold. It's got a checkered style overmold. Front and back. Quick eject collet. Nice. Got some big old square batteries. Feels rock solid. We'll get that one on the charger. I like that it lights up on both sides. Two and a half amp power. 24 volts, 60 watt hours, 160 watt fast charger. Looks pretty standard. We'll see how fast this thing is. This nice overmold on this. We get a couple bits. We got a Torx and a Phillips. And we got bit holders and clips for both of them. The chuck on this thing, man, is butter smooth you got three settings you got driver drill and a hammer on this inside ring pretty standard stuff this feels nice not bad two speed settings nice feeling switch one and two two one put it in two with turbo mode And it's pretty fast, man. A little bit of a loose battery on the drill. Even with the smaller battery. No loose battery on this one. This one's tight. I don't have giant hands, but I don't have trouble getting my finger around to get to that thing. And it's not like you're using it every second. Brushless. Fairly compact for a full-size heavy tool. So you have three speeds here. One, two, three. And two modes. Larger screws in thick metal. And sheet metal, smaller screws. You get your choice. You can get a bit holder. Rubberized. It's on the side there. Or you can install a belt clip. Each tool comes with one of each and an extra screw, but you can't use both and it's not ambidextrous. So if you like your belt clip on the other side, your SOL, you get two bits, a T25 and a Phillips head number two come in the box. So the kit comes with a five amp hour and a two and a half. Pretty standard stuff with the charger. I like this right here. It actually allows you to clip your batteries in. So if this is mounted in the back of a van and you're driving. hundred sixty watts, fast charge. It is not quiet. always wanted a reason to buy one of these. This killed my last Milwaukee M18 drill. A little bit longer. Same concept. Half inch masonry bit. Seven inch lag bolts. Oh yeah. I'm coming for you guy. Just gonna drill some 
shallow pilot holes. Not too deep. About an inch or so. We got half inch, seven inch long wag bolts. Six by six, green treated pilot holes, about an inch deep, three eighths right there. We're gonna go through all the settings. We got the five amp hour battery because running this test with the two and a half amp hour battery is just silly if you ask me. We got a snap on impact on a Husky adapter. We're gonna start out with one. We'll go to two and then three. We got big screw, little screw. We'll just leave it on big screw. We'll do one with the two and a half amp just to see what happens. But like I said, kind of silly. Setting one, 1300 impacts per minute for doing light work. Not for this, let's see what happens. We're gonna be here for a month. Let's switch to setting number two. Better, but not good. Setting number two is 3,600 impacts a minute. Setting three is 4,450. All right, let's see what it does. Well, I tried to drill this one to China and I did a very good job of spilling coffee all over my table saw. Move your coffee if you're gonna do this. So setting three, clearly the smart choice. We probably already knew that. Still a full battery. Let's do the other nine and see where that leads us. There's four. Battery's staying nice and cool. The tool's getting hot though. Real hot. I can feel it through my gloves. Now, if you can see it, we melted the grease right out of it. Rock and roll. Man, still two bars. Last one. Last one seemed to go easy. Well, it did, because we split the timber. Oh, yeah. I don't know how well you can see it, but we literally melted the grease right out of the nose of this thing. Not bad. Not bad at all, man. Still rocking two bars on that battery. Burn my finger on that metal part right there. Oh, yeah. Badass, man. Freaking badass. <laughs> this battery got just slightly warm. I mean, just slightly. Pop back up to two bars. Clearly did not overheat. Freaking good battery, man. Usually these tests, I gotta wait half an hour to charge the battery. Eh, it doesn't even feel that warm. The table, table 60 degrees, right in the middle of the battery, 94 degrees. This poor thing, right on that metal part right there, 175. It's been sitting for about five minutes. I vacuumed up a little. Not half bad, man. I'm real impressed with this. Let's do this again with the two and a half amp hour real quick and just see what it does. We're down to nine bolts because I can't get that one out of there. Yep. It's in there. Hundred fifty degrees right on the nose here. Little battery got pretty hot. So I'm gonna give it a rest. It's nice instead of just a mysterious flashing light, it tells you high temp right there. So yeah, we overheated that guy a little bit. We'll give him a rest. I'm impressed we didn't overheat the five amp hours. 
All right, so if I were to tell you that I've been looking for a reason to buy one of these for like, <laughs> since the first time I saw it, it was like 35 bucks and who doesn't see this at the store and say, you know, I might just buy that for the fun of it. All right, we're set to screw. Clutch on, turbo mode. Safety glasses for sure. <laughs> well, that is every bit of badass I was expecting it to be. Let's do more of that. <laughs> oh, I like this thing. It hit the board that I had to protect the table and pulled it right up into the bottom of this. Awesome. Oh, awesome. That was worth 35 bucks right there. <laughs> Man, what a freaking mess this thing makes. Oh, why didn't I buy one of these years ago? Chuck loosened up. It's probably my fault. No problem, man. This thing's got some freaking power. All right, so we're doing this on a whim. This is the only other half inch chuck hammer drill brushless tool that I have that's not 12 volt. So I'm just curious. This is for my own curiosity. Ah, oh, come on, you. I need you to know that I'm not screwing around and I'm really holding the trigger down. So here. <laughs> oh, come on, Ryobi. I always say such nice things about you. I mean, these tools are not even in the same price category. Like I said, I'm not kidding. This is literally just for my own amusement. Hell yeah. Man, this thing is freaking badass. I love it. And I love that bit. Ah, oh, Ryobi. More curiosity. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. My mistake. Oh. 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 Ah, 12 volts. What do you want? I didn't think it would do it, but. I didn't expect it to. Curiosity. Not a comparison video. These long spade bits are murder on drills. This is what killed my last M18 drill. It was about three times longer and I had it stuck in some ceiling insulation. So there is that, but. Damn, damn man. Oh, I freaking love this thing. Clutch at 23, hammer mode engaged. We got our masonry bit. We gotta do at least a few holes. The stuff I've seen with this already makes me pretty confident telling you it's worth your money. 
but we need to know, does it hammer? Hell yeah. What about this flaky paver stone? Honestly, it works just as good as any hammer drill I've ever used. I don't think we need to drill a million holes. The hammer drill is just fine. So what's the one thing I can't tell you right now about these tools and it's longevity. I don't know. Are they going to last for 10 years doing this crazy stuff? They might, they might not. Let me know in the comments if you guys own these tools, if you have experience using these on the job day in and day out, let us know. Let us know what you guys think. Power for days, days. 24 volts, five amp hour batteries, no problem at all. Struggled with the two and a half a little bit, but this is the lesser expensive combo. You can buy the combo with two big batteries. And I would suggest that because that is what these excel at power. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, hit subscribe, hit like on this video. It helps out the channel more than you could possibly imagine. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.